Hey everyone, uh, so our team at USMLE Sarthi analyzed some data from the interview invites for the IMGs uh, in the 2018 season and we wanted to share our analysis with you just to give you a sense of what type of profile got the interviews. Now of course NRMP publishes its own data uh, but we had a different data set from our own students and, and others who had submitted so we bring you that analysis and hopefully this will be helpful for you as you plan to apply for the for the MAT. So in terms of our methodology, we analyzed over 1000 records, uh, the invite reject data. And of course, this is just based on the self-reported data as, as you can see. Uh, there were nine variables, uh, all the variables that could be quantified, step one score, CK score, year of graduation, number of months of USCE, number of months of research, whether visa was needed or not. So, you know, about nine variables. This is the analysis of the interview invites only and not reflective of the final match. We will have the analysis of the final match in the later video, but uh, for today we are only focusing on the invites. So in terms of the tools that we used, uh, for those of you who may be very statistically minded, uh, we analyzed uh, data using Python, fairly sophisticated analysis that our team was able to run uh, using some of these tools. Now, overall, uh, first we looked at the internal medicine invites and, and what turns out was step one scores and the CK scores along with the year of graduation was the most influential factor if, when we looked at the internal medicine invites. So uh, if you look at this uh, chart there uh, that we've drawn from our analysis, as you can see, that uh, you know step one score and here's the ck score so the higher ck score was was obviously a, a determinant of the interview invites likewise step one score the higher you had obviously uh, you know internal medicine tends to favor those with higher scores year of graduation the recent year of graduation which was 2017 for this match played a key role so if you were uh, you know a recent graduate uh, even 2016, 2015, uh, you secured some good interviews. Uh, now, what we looked at was v whether visa overall was a big deal in the internal medicine uh, right here that you see. And we, we think there was some self-selection going on, you know, out of those 450 programs, uh, students who need visa only apply to visa seeking programs and students who IMGs who do not need visa have a broader range. So because of this self-selection, visa itself did not play a role in the interview invites. Most likely you applied only to the programs which met your visa requirements and therefore there was that self-selection. Then what we did was we segmented the internal medicine invites into the university invites and the other non-university which was the affiliates or the community uh, program invites. Uh, as you can see, uh, our analysis shows that for a university invite uh, for internal medicine program, high step scores were needed. And what they also wanted was a USCE for more than six months. That was the best kind of a profile that got you interviews. Uh, it could be in terms of the electives, it could be in terms of hands-on, that wasn't really clear, but a total USCE of more than six months really made you very, very attractive uh, along with high step scores for uh, the university invites in internal medicine. And then there were factors that they preferred. So we divided the data, the analysis through up the preference and the requirements. So preference, of course, if you had research more than six months and you had a step three, then you, you had some more preference at the university and programs for internal medicine. So let me expand this a bit so you can see here. Uh, as you can see, step scores continue to be very high here. Uh, you know, the step one CK score, again, you know, very high. And USCE, 
between 6 to 12 months as I said would be would be very important and there you see this research you know if you had high research months that factored into your getting here is the research and factored into your getting invites in internal medicine from uh, university programs so those were some of the factors that we found important in the university programs now if you look at the internal medicine community program so anything uh, non university it could be affiliate it could be community uh, there were some uh, interesting things that we saw one was this home country residency so if you had a residency from your home country uh, already coming in so could be residency in internal medicine dermatology obgyn uh, you really had a very good chance of getting invited for internal medicine uh, community uh, program so that was something uh, that came out and in general as you can see the scores had uh, in terms of the score the the filter was slightly lower as opposed to the university program especially when it came to step one so that was the difference that we saw in the community programs for internal medicine uh, as opposed to the university programs let's move on um, we had enough data for psych uh, applicants you know internal medicine and psych we had enough data so we separated out the psychiatry analysis and what you will see is psychiatry uh, definitely went with step 3 and non visa requiring so if you if you had step 3 scores and you did not require visa then uh, you know the the chances of getting interviews in psychiatry were very high and the score requirement varied so uh, look at the look at the analysis here so here, here's the visa requiring uh, bar so you can see this is the very high bar so if you did not require visa this actually shows you people who did not require visa uh, you you this was a very important factor for psych uh, step 3 yes if you had step 3 uh, then it was um, you know very beneficial for you when it came to um, the psych interviews uh, not so much year of graduation as you can see there is a wide kind of a range for psychiatry for year of graduation psychiatry is tending to go for some research experience and uh, of course USC like many other fields you see here uh, you know psych prefers USC and research Though, of course, uh, as I mentioned, if you had step three and uh, you did not need visa, uh, you, you had a fairly good chance of getting interviews in psych program with some reasonable research and, and USC year of graduation uh, didn't really factor. That. All right, then we looked at non-internal medicine, non-psych specialties, and we did not have enough data to do a statistically significant analysis of all specialties together so we combined the data and we said let's look at uh, what was driving the interviews in the non im non psych specialty so we combined pediatrics neurology obgyn and this analysis is just for the sake of completion so that you can see what actually drove the interviews so what you will see is put together uh, the scores bar was was lower in peds neurology and then in terms of usc was where they focused on so let me show you the data here uh, as you can see here the scores requirement is a bit lower as opposed to say internal medicine and uh, these non im non psych specialties uh, they were focusing on usc so you can see this bar is the USC between 6 to 12 months. So that became an important factor. How much USC do you have? So those were some of the analysis, some of the insights that we gathered from the uh, data of about 1000 invite rejects, self-reported data from our students as well as uh, from others who had submitted this data. So hopefully uh, this was useful to you and if you may not know about our team we help IMGs in their math journey so do look up our website uh, we have a Facebook page a lot of uh, 
videos on YouTube like this one and let us know if we can help you. Thank you. Thank you.